diabetes is one of the greatest problems facing the United States of America. And I emphasize the word problem and not disease. The reason being that it is the number one cause of heart disease, which is the number one cause of death in the United States of America. It is also the number one cause of blindness in Americans between the ages of 20 and 74. In fact, the World Health Organization estimates that over 17 million people in the United States have diabetes, and that nearly one of every two people with diabetes will have some form of diabetic eye disease or diabetic retinopathy. But even in the shadow of such staggering statistics, the tone of the annual meeting of the American Academy of Optometry, held in San Diego, was optimistic. Their theme, New Horizons in Detecting and Treating Diabetic Retinopathy. Diabetic eye disease is a condition where the blood vessels in the back of the eye deteriorate and it causes visual loss. But the key point is that diabetic eye disease is preventable if picked up early and very treatable. Screening for diabetic eye disease or diabetic retinopathy is vital because there are no symptoms of early diabetic eye disease until it is too late. So any condition where you may not realize you have eye problems during the time that you're developing them, screening is vital. So all people with diabetes should be screened. The total direct and indirect monetary consequences of diabetes, including diabetic eye disease and diabetic retinopathy, such as medical bills, disability, work loss, and premature mortality, amount to nearly $98 billion annually. Fortunately, we have the opportunity to treat that and prevent that impact on our society. We have to eat better, we have to watch our weight, and we have to go and see doctors to get an early diagnosis. The treatments for diabetic retinopathy are very successful and they've been proven to be successful with very long government-funded, well-conducted clinical trials. One for sure is keeping the blood sugars as close to normal as possible. The second is keeping your blood pressure uh, in the normal range. The third is seeing an eye doctor once a year and being uh, uh, available for therapy when those are needed. And also in the future, we have some exciting new developments, oral medications that actually attack retinopathy and halt it in its tracks. And that's very exciting uh, that, that people with diabetes will have in the very near future. So we're hoping that our message to our own colleagues causes them in large numbers across the country to become more involved in the care of the patient with diabetes. And perhaps the most important message is that this is not a hopeless condition. There is hope with diabetic eye disease. A great deal of research has resulted in our ability to treat many aspects of diabetic retinopathy today, and a great deal of research is being conducted that will enable us to be even better in the future. So I encourage diabetic patients not to feel hopeless. Good news for millions of people with diabetes, for whom the future is definitely looking brighter. This is Rory Fielding for Fast Focus on Medicine. For information on this or other episodes, log on to www.fastfocus.tv.